Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in gorgeous Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm going to talk to you about the 2017 Springdale Summerland 3030. It's a beautiful bunk house, has a lot of great features, fairly lightweight for a large unit. Let's go ahead and start up front, we'll make our way back and then head on in. So right up front, one of the things you'll notice is a power tongue jack. This is phenomenal. It really makes loading and unloading a lot easier. Rather than having to crank it up and down, all you have to do is just flip a switch and it does the work for you. Also, it does have a light in case you are hooking up or disconnecting at night. Behind the tongue jack is the uh, propane tanks. You can see it has a cover on here. To access the tanks, it's nice and easy. You have some thumb screws, just lift those off. And right there, you can access your two 20-pound propane tanks. Behind that is the rails for your battery and then the diamond plating. Look how nice and high the diamond plating is. That's awesome because any rocks or anything that get thrown up by the tow vehicle are just going to hit this diamond plating and not put dents in the front of your brand new camper. Come around to the side here and we can take a look at the pass-through. Large pass-through, nice and big so you can fit a ton of stuff in there which is great because you're going to be taking a lot of stuff with you camping. You have the family, there's a lot of people coming. So having a big pass-through is exactly what you want. If you take a look right down here, you'll see this control. This is a power stabilizer jack. You have them on the front and back, makes it super easy again. Not only do you have the power tongue jack, you have power stabilizer jacks, and there's a remote that controls those as well, and controls this right here, which is the power awning. So they're really trying to make it as simple as possible by making everything power here for you, just touch of a button. Of course, that awning will roll out and roll back in. Also has an LED light strip underneath that awning too. So if you want to sit out here at night, you can easily do that. If you're looking maybe to listen to some music, you have outside speakers here as well. Uh, those are going to be controlled by your multimedia center inside, however they are Bluetooth capable. So if you have a smartphone or other Bluetooth capable device, you can go ahead and hook up to those while hanging out, you know, right outside relaxing in your chairs. Getting into this camper is an absolute breeze. You have three steps, both right here and in the back. Uh, so two different entry points. This is gonna be your main entry right here. The one in the back will lead into the bathroom. Again, the big advantage of that back one is that if you have to use the bathroom, maybe the kids have to, you can just run in, use the bathroom, come right back out. You're not traipsing dirt throughout the entire RV. So that's really cool. If you want to hook up anything else electric outside, you can see you have power connection right there. So whether it's electric griddle or something else, just plug it in and you're good to go. Let's make our way back a little bit further. One other thing I love about this unit is right here, this is the outside shower. Most of the time this is on the off door side where it's kind of a pain to get to. On the 3030, it's right here front and center so it's very usable. And again, if the kids are coming back from the beach, need to wash their feet off, take this, you go ahead and wash your feet off and head right in. Just a phenomenal feature. As I mentioned, that's the uh, entrance to get into the bathroom. And check this out. When you're camping, a lot of times you want to spend some time outside. This just makes it that much easier, an outside kitchen. You have everything you need here from your mini fridge right there. You have storage, perfect for all of your you know, cups and paper plates, a sink here, and then you have the cooktop. Go ahead and pull this out to show you. So two burner cooktop right there you can use. Or if you want to bring your own grill, you can do that too. You can hook it up right here. You'll see there is a propane quick connect right there that you can plug that grill into. That way it's going to be feeding off your 20 pound bottles up front instead of having to bring a small one with you. Come around to the back side real quick. Do, you do have a spare tire on this unit. Hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, it's always nice to know that you're safe and you have the tire. And then uh, right here is a rear window. We'll see this when we go in the back bunk room. That just is going to let in a lot of great light. Last but not least, if you take a look up at the roof line, you'll see the nice crowned roof on there. Big advantage of that, you don't have any water that's going to sit on top. It's naturally going to run to the sides. Rear rain gutter is going to take it to the front and the back of the RV instead of dumping down on your campsite. All right, it's going to wrap it up for the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Springdale Summerland 3030. This particular model is in the coffee interior. Start off on the kitchen right over here. As soon as you walk in, you'll notice great storage. Right here, you have two full extension drawers and nice big access to storage right there. 
The other thing you will notice is large countertop space. Excellent prep space here, which is uh, wonderful, and a large single bowl sink. Personally, I like the single bowl sink just because you can fit uh, larger pots and pans in there. They're able to sit flat. They don't have to sit up on an angle because of the divider. Also, right here is the pull-out faucet, so it just makes it easier to wash and rinse your dishes. Right here is the three-burner cooktop. This is Atwood brand, and the front burner is high output. Brand underneath is the standard oven, so if you want to do any kind of baking, you can. And great storage here as well. Two full extension drawers, perfect for silverware, anything else you want to put in there. Uh, cutout here is great for spices and storage right there underneath. Also right here, another drawer, great for catch-all drawer, whatever, again, whatever else you want to throw in there. Uh, LED lights in the kitchen here, you actually have LED lights throughout. The reason I like LED lights is they use a fraction of the power, so if you are camping off-grid, you'll truly appreciate the longevity you'll get in the battery. And then uh, great pantry storage right up there. Next to that is the stainless microwave. Uh, there's the weight on the unit, 7,670 pounds. Below that is the fully functional hood with a light and fan again another LED light here and additional storage up top also you do have a plug-in here as well as on the other side so if you need to plug in a uh, coffee maker blender whatever it may be you can easily do that to round out the kitchen, gonna, uh, right here is going to be the Dometic fridge and freezer. You can see there plenty of storage. You have a cutout there, so if you have taller items such as um, half gallon of milk or orange juice, you can go ahead and fit that in there. That unit does run off of both LP and electric. It also has automatic switchover. Uh, what that means is if you're running it off LP, as soon as you plug it into shore power, it will automatically switch over to electric for you. Let's move on back to the bathroom of the unit. As I mentioned, there is a second door to come right into this bathroom, and then right there is the toilet, plenty of leg room all the way around. Uh, great vanity space, nice big sink, storage plug-in of course, and a mirrored medicine cabinet up top. Over to the side is the tub shower. Uh, you can see you have shelving space as well as the vent up top. All right, let's head on back. We'll take a look at the bunk room. Right outside the bunkhouse is wonderful storage. You can take a look right there. Great shelving all the way down. You can use that either for kids clothes or if you need additional pantry space, you can use it for that as well. A curtain will close off to give the bunk room additional privacy. And as you move back, you will notice the three separate bunk areas. One right here on top, which will be on strut, so it lifts up nice and easily. The bottom uh, cube system, this is wonderful. You can do a lot of different things. As you can see set up here, uh, these move around. So you can put them wherever you want, put them along the backs to make couches. And when they fold out, these do make up very large beds. So this is a really neat system because you can actually sleep two kids down here if you want, uh, or adults for that matter. So I just, I love that they have that down there. Across the way, this will be the third bunk right here. A ladder is built in, so it's nice and easy to go ahead and climb up. This does come out just like that. Uh, so I like that too. A lot of times, the different units, you'll have to try to find steps to climb up there. There's no guessing right here. And then great storage right there as well, again, for additional kids' clothes. And if you want to watch TV, not a problem. There's TV hookups here, the nice big cutout there so you can have excellent TV space. And as I mentioned, we were outside, you can see the window here. So big, beautiful window lets in a ton of natural light during the day. All right, let's head on back out. We'll take a look at the main entertainment area and the bedroom. The super slide will contain both the large U dinette and the jackknife sofa. I like the U dinette in this floor plan because that way the whole family can sit around, enjoy a meal together, maybe play a board game, or really whatever you want to do, but I love having the extra space. The other big advantage to the U dinette is this table does drop down, and this forms a very large bed where you can easily sleep to adults. There is storage underneath the seat, so if you need to store things you may not get to nearly as often, you can certainly do that as well. Excellent window space all the way around lets in a ton of natural light. Again, LED lights here uh, throughout. And up top, you'll notice some great additional storage. Again, perfect place in my opinion for board games, card games. You can tuck them away in there. This is a really neat feature too. You have two USB ports right here. So whether you're sitting on the couch or the u dinette there, if you need to charge any kind of uh, cell phone or tablet, you can certainly do that. 
The jackknife sofa, this is cool because not only is it a comfortable place to sit, but also it's easy access to storage. Look at all that storage underneath. Uh, in my opinion, that's the, you know, the big advantage of having a jackknife. It may not make as big of a bed, but the storage aspect is absolutely wonderful. Then of course, while you're sitting there, you may want to watch some TV, not a problem. They went ahead and put in a backer for you so, and labeled the spot to put your bracket to mount the TV. Uh, you have storage up top, right up there, as well as storage down below. Open that up for you. And then right here in the middle is the uh, Jensen Multimedia Center. So as I mentioned when we were outside, this is Bluetooth capable. This will control the outside speakers as well as the speakers in here. The bedroom of the 3030 has a queen bed. Uh, it does have excellent easy access storage right underneath here as well. The other thing I like about this bedroom space is that the wardrobe doesn't go all the way down uh, to the shelf here. So what that gives you is exactly that, a very large shelf. You'll notice plug-ins on either side, so if you need to charge cell phones, or if you have a CPAP machine, you can sleep on either side of the bed. Both sides also have the hanging wardrobe space. Nice big shelf here along the top for additional clothes. LED reading light as well as an additional light right here. And then clothes hamper right underneath, which is really cool if you can see that. That way all your dirty clothes can just be tucked away right in there. Uh, lastly, another cool feature hanging right here on the wall. This is the Camp Easy system. I briefly touched on this when I was outside. This remote right here, if you can see, has a bunch of different controls. Uh, this will control everything from the lights on your awning to the power awning, so you can move that in and out, the slides on the unit, and the stabilizers. Uh, cool advantage of that is if you're in a tight camp spot, you can go outside, you can go ahead and hit these buttons and move your slide out, make sure you're not going to hit any trees, same thing with your awning. It really is a nice feature to have. All right, folks, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Uh, again, this is the 2017 Springdale Summerland 3030BH. It's a phenomenal bunkhouse floor plan. You have the outside kitchen. You have power everything on here. You know, all the amenities you're going to need for the family. This really is one you just want to come take a look at. If you do have any questions or comments, please go ahead and leave those in the section below. Or you can always give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, and I'll be happy to answer that way as well. If you do have particular questions on the specs, the unit such as length I encourage you to visit our website which is AmericanRV.com and you'll find all the answers you're looking for thanks again for watching I'm Ian Baker and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom